It's only week two of the girls' soccer season, but tonight we have a matchup that could impact the playoffs a few months down the road. It's the North Shore Conference opener, Whitefish Bay and Germantown, two of the top teams in the area. The Warhawks dominated possession time early, but a turnover led to this. Carolyn Fink with a nice feed to Taylor Kerwin. Her shot is smothered by G-Town keeper Piper Brown, but Leah Rothstein is there for the rebound. One nothing, Blue Dukes jump on top. The lead did not last long. Just two minutes later on a free kick, Paige Blankenheim's shot is blocked, but Isabel Thompson is there for the follow. This matchup is even at one. Germantown looking for the lead off yet another free kick, but Shannon Gasper's header is off the post, and the Blue Dukes are able to clear to keep the game even. Now to the 29th minute, Bay with a corner. The ball caroms off the back of Claire Matcom and into the back of the net. Whitefish Bay back in front, 2-1. to one. The Blue Dukes back on the attack. Fink with the long drive that's headed for the far side of the net, but Brown is there for the diving save. Now early second half and the Warhawks get the equalizer and it's a beauty. Danny Shiler with a long shot that gets by everyone except Mackenzie Challoner who punches it in and this showdown is all even at two. Here's Challoner one more time but her shot is knocked away by baykeeper Amanda Pandel. Finally in the 68th minute, the play of the night. Kerwin with the steal at midfield and she is off to the races. She encounters some traffic along the way, but she gets off this rocket to the left corner and it finds the back of the net to give the Blue Dukes a 3-2 advantage. Thanks to my team, you know, we were all pressing and we got it up there and just the good pressure from everyone. I got the chance to take it up and just kicked it in, so that was exciting. Germantown applies the pressure late, but Pandel is more than up for the challenge with some big saves. The Blue Dukes hang on for a 3-2 victory, a big confidence boost for the state's number one ranked team in Division II. Yeah, I felt really good because I know it's going to be a tough winning conference this year, so that was a big win for us. So that was really exciting, especially for the whole team. In the past, we've been a little bit lower seed, so we can, you know, we always say, hey, we're gunning for that team, but now we're the team that everybody's gunning for, so it forces us to be prepared every night, but, you know, I think our girls are up to the challenge.